Hello, Jim and Jenny from Ohio here, and we'd like to show you the new chicken coop we just finished building. It's based on a design we originally found on BackyardChickens.com, however we reversed the design to better meet the geography of our yard. Let's take a look inside. As you can see, it's equipped with a ladder style ramp to allow the chickens to enter into an elevated shelter through a door that we can raise and lower from outside of the coop. We also added a couple hooks to hang the food and water buckets from. Here you can see our first resident chicken. He appeared one weekend when we were out of town. I guess one of our neighbors is hoping to start finally getting eggs now that the coop is actually finished. The main shelter features two windows, one on the side and one on the front door. These can be closed and latched during inclement weather, propped open in the spring or fall, or completely removed during the summertime. Both of the windows are backed with half-inch hardware cloth screening. Here you can see the pole rope that is used to raise and lower the chicken entry door, secured in place with a rope cleat. Inside the main shelter, we have two roosting bars for the chickens to hang out on and get to know each other. These have non-skid strips applied so that they can maintain a good grip on the wood. We built the three nesting boxes in a way that the boards can be easily removed and replaced. This should make cleaning the boxes a breeze. The lower board was then added in a way that will hold the nesting material in place inside of the boxes, but also can be easily removed for cleaning. Here you can see the operation of the door in action. This is accomplished via the pull rope being fed through a series of eye screws leading to the outside of the main shelter and then down to the rope cleat we showed earlier in this video. We wanted to have a way to collect the eggs without actually entering into the coop, so we added a handy lift up lid above the nesting boxes. This should allow for easy access to the eggs without disturbing the chickens any more than necessary. Here you can see the inside of the 12 by 15 inch nesting boxes. Now we show a view from the back side of the coop. We use hardware cloth screening throughout this project. This will ensure extra strength over other materials such as regular chicken wire. I found some dimensional shingles pretty cheap on Craigslist, so that was the roofing material I decided upon. Since shingles are pretty heavy, they add a fair amount of weight to the coop. This should help to make it more stable in the high winds we sometimes have here in Ohio. The overall size of the coop is about 5 foot by 10 foot at the bottom. The roof is 7 foot high in the front, 6 foot high in the rear, and has a 1 foot overlap on each side of the roof. If you'd like to see more of the building details, please visit our website at informationcover.com. Thanks for watching.